YouTube. Your boy Angular Boy T Black just scored this in this video. And this has been one of my best days at my bridge in Kibis Kane in a long time. YouTube, check out the size of this snapper, y'all. If you'd like to see how I caught this snapper, stick around for another lit video, y'all. From the lights and the leaves to the bites on your knees, kill the universe. Might get a sight of the breeze. You're not psychic, you're free. I'm the architect. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Angler Boy T Black checking in with a whole nother video. And today, guys, I'm back in my favorite spot. Last time in the last video, you guys should go check that out. I tried a new spot, didn't work so well. So I'm back here to score those tenors for dinner because I know, at least in this spot, it produces, guys. So stick around for another lit video. All right, guys, so the rig I'm going to be using today is ounce and a half egg sinker with 12 pound mono. I have the sinker sit on the bottom and then I go up the mono 12 pound line two to three feet. And then the hook comes out from there, four to 12 inches into a size one mustache hook, guys. So that's the rig I'm gonna be using. All right, guys, and for bait, as you can see, I have some salted pilchards, super small, maybe two to three and a half inches. And I'm gonna be using those. I also have a half pound of fresh dead shrimp, guys. So I'm gonna be using those baits interchangeably hoping to catch something big right here at the point of the bridge guys and for those of you that may or may not know those grass pastures they are a hassle when you're reeling in your line but if they're sitting in one spot like I have right now they create a beautiful shelter for the fish that like to hide underneath for shade guys so hopefully we could pull a nice mangrove grouper or something cool out from under this grab patch. All right, guys, on this cast, I'm going with a nice shrimp. Trying to make that line get to the bottom before all the little guys attacks. Getting a bite there. Got me off. Got me off. First mango of the day. I see a school of them right here, guys. I know I'm going to score my tenor for dinner. This guy's an eater, and it's the first fish of the day. Check it out. See you later, buddy. Oh, y'all, this might be a tenor for dinner, y'all. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Come on, baby. Yeah. Woo! Look at the size of that snapper, y'all. Told you this spot produces. Look at that snapper, y'all. Look at that. Look at it. Let's get a measurement on that guy. That guy is all of 12 inches. Easy. Stay on the hook. Let's get a measurement for that guy. Check that out, guys. Inches. 11 inch snapper right there, y'all. Guys, what I'm doing is cutting nice pieces of pilchards and just chumming the water. And then I'm throwing a whole one, guys. That's how I hooked up in that big snapper. So I'm trying to keep doing that because I want to go limiting out. And then you just want to let as much line out as fast as you can to get it past those little ones. Take the slack back and you wait. If I'm not mistaken, that's a tarpon, guys. But hey, let's see if we can get another snap. Swing and a miss. All right, y'all. Didn't really make much of that cast. And I got a nice bite on that one, so I'm going to do that again. to the bottom, take the slack out, oh, I'm getting annihilated already, take it baby, take it, got that guy, might not be as big, but we got him, little six inch snapper just coughed up the head of my filter, check that out guys, see you buddy, going with a shrimp on this cast guys, oh yeah, that was a good one, I think it's gonna make it down. Might want to beef up my rod on the next break off. I mean my weight. Gotta go. Oh, he might be a 
tenner? Not sure. That might be a tenner. Oh yeah, that's a tenner all day. Nice. Look at that. Today, guys, I'm scoring. Let's make sure he's a tenner. Full dinner. That guy is definitely a tenner. Let's make sure again. One last try. Bleeding all over the place. Easy, buddy. Easy. Easy. Alright, y'all. Got a good feeling about this calf. Right there. Let it go down as much as it will. For sure, bigger than the ten. Oh my God, that's probably my biggest snap ever. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. The crusty crab pizza. Check that out, y'all. That's a score. That's for sure, twelve inch snapper. Easy. And he almost got me wrapped up. Check that out, guys. Score. He's not my biggest snapper for sure, but he's an 11 and a quarter inch snapper, y'all. Check that out. That's what we do in the day. And I got that guy on a shrimp. Check that out. Nice mangrove snapper. Just got him. He's 11 and a quarter inches, and I got him on a shrimp, y'all. Alrighty, guys. Let's go right back into the little pocket where I was before try to get a nice big mama mangrove look at that tarpon that's for sure a tarpon y'all oh and I'm getting a bite oh my god I got him I got him I got him y'all I got him got him oh my goodness look at the size of that thing what am I doing today y'all I'm on a roll look at the size of this thing no freaking way guys look at the size of that snapper y'all take a look at that snapper nice oh man i found the money hole i'm never leaving this place y'all sorry freaking 13 inch snapper right there y'all check that out let's get a better look at him get away from the water before he goes in check that guy out y'all that's one of my personal best. That's my second biggest. Woo, that's nice, y'all. Guys, check out the size of this snapper. Man, that guy put up a nice fight, y'all. I got four snappers in the box. This 13, two 11s, and a 10, guys. I'm gonna keep fishing because I wanna get that 15 inch personal best. And the other ones, I just met a nice gentleman down the bridge. I'm going to give him some of the pilchers, and if he doesn't have any snapper to limit out, I'm going to give him some of mine if I go over my limit, guys. Because I only need five, and man, this guy put up a nice fight, guys. Good feeling about this cast, y'all. My limit out right here on the snaps. Can't believe today I got four tenors for dinner, y'all. Oh, this might be number five. Nice bite. Gonna let him take it. Got him, y'all. Whatever he is, he's got a uh, cigar, which is fine. Later, buddy. For sure. Oh my goodness, the bird had it. Let go of that thing. What the heck? The bird had my fish, y'all. He's a small one, but the bird had him. That's why he's bleeding. Dude, I'm trying to save your life and you're trying to bite me. Come on, dude. Yeah. 
Hopefully you make it. Oh, the birds got him. The bird just got him, y'all. Look, the bird came back and got him. Sorry, buddy. All right, guys, as you can see, all I'm doing is taking my scissors and cutting a couple filters up, like so, super small. Taking that in my hand, like this, and just tossing it right into that corner, guys. And that's my method of thumb for today. That's how I scored those snappers. Guys, check out the size of this snapper right here. Check that out. Nice one, right? Not only did I get that one, I got this guy. Not only did I get those two, I got that guy. But last but not least, guys, check that out. YouTube, your boy Angler Boy T Black just scored this in this video. And this has been one of my best days at my bridge in Kivas Kane in a long time. So, Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a subscribe. And see you in the next one, guys. Peace. All right, YouTube. That's it for today. So I want to say thank you all for watching. I got four keeper, nice size snapper in this one. And I'm here in the same bridge in Kibis Kane. I just changed up the tactics and I went with some pilchards, chunks for chum, guys. So once again, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.